Hey guys, and welcome back to another spooky mod video. Today though, we are doing something a little bit different. This mod isn't necessarily a horror mod, but not all things October have to be horror, you know? Sometimes there's also mystery. And so today, we are going to be playing the mod It Beats For Her, which is a short little mystery quest. It looked generally spooky. I thought it'd fit the vibe. I want to try it out. And I'm so happy because we have my favorite cozy sweater. We have my favorite spooky cup. I'm just very happy to be here today. <laughs> so all we should have to do to start this mod is head on to Falkreath and wait for a courier. So let's go ahead and get into it. Man, I'm really appreciating the uh, <laughs> reflection of my lights in the window over there. Looks like spooky eyes. Mm. It's just fitting the vibes, you know. To save time from like having to walk back from the reach, which I don't even have installed anymore, so that might make it freak out anyway. I'm gonna load this version of Adamo. I'm hoping it doesn't crash because this had Survive the Night installed. This might make some stuff mess up, but I'm feeling brave tonight. I guess. <laughs> Got something I'm supposed no. to do. No, no, that mod shouldn't be installed anymore. Wait, is it? Let's see here. Looks no, like it said it, it wasn't. Got to go. What did you give me? We're not supposed to get the letter for this mod until, uh, we get to Falkreath, I'm pretty sure. We have a letter from the Earl of Falkreath, but I imagine that's just about Lakeview Manor. Yeah. And it's probably something to do with the holiday mod. We're gonna ignore it. I guess we can have our friends with us this time. Like, that should be fine, right? I don't think they would mess up anything. I'm taking them with me. We're going to Falkreath. That's a lot of guards. Yes, hello. <laughs> now, it did say to make the courier spawn faster. Oh my god, I forgot. I put pumpkins everywhere. Well, I downloaded a mod that put pumpkins everywhere. Look at them. They're adorable. Now, I'm feeling... It's too bright and sunny in Falkreath today, and I don't appreciate it very much. We're gonna wait until, like, six. I'd rather do this at night, so it's a little bit creepier. Now, ain't this a surprise? Excuse me? What? What? Why are you mad? Who, who are you? Do you mind? Yeah, I'm just gonna let Gone Air handle that one. Is this clockwork again? Man, leave me alone, clockwork. I need to uninstall that. It keeps confusing me. Why in Falkreath? Like, come on, man. To make the courier spawn faster, they did say that you might try going in to a building and coming out. I and heard hopefully that should do it. So we'll just take a quick stop in the end, I think. Oh my god! <gasps> okay, this will make absolutely no sense to anyone but me and Ryder. And maybe some people in my Discord. Should I have Dan follow me for a little bit? Our tiny little skeleton? Hello, my friend. It is spooky time. We might as well have a skeleton friend. This is Ryder's Necromancer's little skeleton butler. And I think today Please, he's Dan. going to be Adamo's butler. Steel. Why not? <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, well, we got three little idiots following us now. It'll be exciting and fun. Hopefully the courier will appear now, though. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, okay, there he is. I've I saw him phase into existence. That's something I'm... Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right, here we go. Seems like everything is working. So look at the note from the unknown man and look at the torn journal. So we got two things. Let's start with the note from Unknown Man first. I do not know who I can trust, so I am... forced to trust a stranger. You. I am hunting down a monster that threatens every innocent soul, including the love of my life. I have followed him to Falkreath, to a house that sits opposite of the watermill. The key that I have included will get you in. If I prove unable to defeat this monster, the task falls to you. Well, okay. I mean, I guess asking the Dragonborn probably isn't that out of the ordinary, but still, a little bit weird. So, a house that sits opposite of the watermill. Okay. I do believe this quest said something about there are no quest markers. There might be a few, but it is like a little mystery puzzle sort of thing. So, hopefully I'll do fine. Um, I feel like a lot of the times whenever I'm recording, I'm always like a little bit nervous, you know? And whenever I'm nervous, I forget things. I know I've been doing YouTube for a long time, but it's stupid. I make a lot of dumb mistakes and get mad at myself whenever I'm editing. What can you do? It's part of the humor. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. <laughs> Entry number one, Falkreath. Not my favorite village, by any means. It's all a bit too dull for me. Leave it up to Falkreath to be surrounded by so much green and still be gray. I like it. 
Walking through the uninspiring streets, I half expected to be swallowed up in its anonym anonymity. I can't say that word. I know what it means. I just can't say it. Anonymity. <laughs> Never to be heard from again. What a nightmare. Of course, one man's nightmare is another man's last refuge. The High Elf is here. I'm sure of it. Entry number two. As I chase the monster to Falkreath, it's almost like I've been here before. I know the streets. I know the houses. I know where he might hide. Perhaps these towns are not as unique as they would like to be. Or perhaps I just know my target too well now. Where my resolve falters, thoughts of my love keep me going. I look at my emerald ring and know that only she wears its twin. The key to our future. I will never part with it. Entry number three. I found a rather heavy-hearted poem that he must have dropped. Ah, oh, my voice is like trying to give out. This is a really bad time. Why is it that everyone fancies himself a poet? Committing the darker of thoughts to paper can lighten the burden they have on one's soul, I suppose. But how much can quill and ink do for a man with such dark thoughts as this one? At least he is not publishing these. Alright, so it sounds like we got some creep out in the wilderness or something. Not out in the wilderness. On the loose. That's a better way to phrase it. But yes, investigate the house by the watermill in Fall Creek. Okay, it is taking us to it, so that's good. No, I was like, this is not correct. It is not pointing us to it. Do you mind? You are sniffing so loud, Teldrin. He's using his whole mouth to do it. Watermill, watermill. Is that over here? I think so. Yeah, so I assume this one. <laughs> I assume everything's kind of technically all nearby in Falkreath, but it seems like it is this one, yes. Yeah, yeah, this might not be the right house by the mill. I was young once. <laughs> oh, oh, hold plot, on, I tell you. I'll, I'll come back. They're talking about imperial plots and whatnot. Like, that's that's not what I'm here for. I see. That's kind of what I thought. There's a new house added. You see what I mean? Multiple houses? Like, it's fine. We found it now. It felt very wrong. Unknown hunter's house. Now this seems like the one, my friends. This seems like the one. Okay, here we are. My friends were nice enough to let me go inside first this time. Don't know if we should be uh, looking around at everything. Yes, I'm still taking the gold. I'm obviously still very much in a gone air mindset, not a damo. Lighting's freaking out a little bit in here. But as far as I can there's tell beyond the weird lighting, I don't think there's anything out of the ordinary up here. But it does look like there's a basement. So let's have a look-see down here. That's a little bit weird, all the candles in the chest, but okay. I'll still take the potions, um, and the coins, why not? It's very dark over here. Luckily, Adamo's a wizard and has candlelight, so let's go ahead and use that. Killing before you're killed, bunch of arrows. Valkyrie has been marked. Perhaps back here. Looks like there are things back here. Yep, yep, there's a secret basement in this basement. Outstanding. Oh. Okay, well now this is just a little bit creepy. I thought it wasn't going to be super overly creepy, but lo and behold, I I am indeed creeped out. All right, what do we have down here? Let's read this note. I recognize myself as a monster. My diseased heart beats a black and blue rhythm that no one should ever have to dance to. It is a profoundly disturbing sound. I am also a coward, for if I really wanted to stop the monster, I need only turn the blade to my own throat or seek out a hunter who is willing to dedicate an arrow to ridding the world of something evil. But salvation may be near. I see shadows that are not my own, following me. Oh. Okay, then there's another note. Ooh, even creepier down here with the lights off. <laughs> Let's take more pictures. Thumbnails, you know, thumbnails. Strange note number three. Perhaps we should find two first. There it is. There's only one thing that keeps the monster in me at bay. One thing that gives my heart reason to beat. And that is she. Pure and unrelentingly kind. She always sees the good in me. A more perfect creature I have never seen. I would do anything just to walk next to her as she does her groceries at the market. Do we have an incel afoot? My arch nemesis? I will destroy you. I would pretend she loved me, and that would be enough. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got we got a little creepy dude afoot. Great. Oh no. Um, let's read the third one. 
Solve the mystery. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I will. Underneath the tree up the hill. Does she hear a dog? Do you mind? Underneath the tree up the hill, where the waterfall gives birth to the river that drives the mill. She is there at midday, always. She says she likes the view in the quiet. I will bear my soul to her there. How about you don't? And finally find out if she can live with the monster. If there is anyone in this world that will accept me, it is her. This is my last chance. Redemption or damnation? She decides. Well, I guess that's where we're starting then. The waterfall gives birth to the river that drives the mill. That sounds simple. Okay then, I don't like all these embalming tools around. Hmm. Weird, weird, that requires a key. This door is locked. Instead of a lock or handle, you see an indention in the shape of a hand. There appears to be a ring around one of the fingers. Did I hear something else? Was that just one of my friends? I don't think they're down here. I swear I heard someone like laugh or breathe or something. I should probably turn my sound up. Y'all are really just gonna sit there and stare at each other? They're just talking about the mystery, you know. I have no idea where Dan went though. Here's little feet somewhere. Underneath the tree, up the hill. Okay, so it should be this way. We're gonna put on the light again. Because I feel like we're actually going to need to be able to see to solve this mystery. Or not. Thanks, Skyrim. Now I gotta wait for it to come back up and it's gonna take 30 years. They're like people talking outside or something. I shall glare down and judge them. But I don't think this new mic picks that up. I hope at least it doesn't seem to, not yet at least. Haven't tested it with the neighbor man. He hasn't been annoying while I've been recording, so that's good. But hopefully it won't pick up the music as much either, so that'd be good. Okay, let's try that again, please. How about we don't crash this time, hmm? Okay, good. It usually likes to crash um, a second time whenever I try to reload, and then it'll actually let me. Seems like it's fine this time. Now, it's just set a tree, right? Nothing else about the tree. There's a lot of trees up here. Because, like, this is technically a waterfall. Honestly, it's just too dark to see, isn't it? Okay, what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to wait until the morning, but I think I can force it to storm. That's creepy, right? We'll just solve the mystery in a storm. Hopefully not get electrocuted by lightning or something. Unless... No, it's not nice and foggy out. How disappointing. Okay, hold on. I'll force a storm real quick. Do it. I think that's the right one. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. That's what I like. Okay, let's have another look around then. Oh, you know, probably that waterfall. Okay, you're not gonna stick around? I guess this is fine also too. Like, I just want it to be kind of dark and foggy. That's all I want. Don't you get brighter. Yeah, there, there's a lot of trees here. This seems like a nice place to stand, don't you think? Or a nice place to die. Looks like uh, everything went great. Hmm. A beautiful emerald ring that appears to be part of a twin set found on the body of a dead woman in Fall Creek. Well, that should open the basement door, right? You know, that's about right. He seemed the type of guy to do that, huh? A creepy little sort. Let's go look in his basement. I assume this should open it anyway. It said something about the ring. And he said this was the only other one, so... Let's try it! Door is locked. Instead of a locker handle, you can see an indention in the shape of hand. There appears to be a ring around one of the fingers. Do I need to, like, equip the ring? Let's put that on. You press your hand with the twin emerald ring on it into the indention. You hear a soft click as the door unlocks. Okay. There we go. There's another note. Uh, loose journal, page two. Thus far, nobody has responded to my wanted poster. Is there no one who spotted a high elf with a beard and a ponytail? It seems like a difficult thing to miss, but maybe people are too frightened to speak up. Oh, okay. I hate that noise. Thanks a lot, game. That's not even this mod. It's my silly sound mod that always likes to give me the creeps, even when I'm not playing a horror mod. Oh, hi. Strange poem. I fester in this world like his vicious seed festers in her. It will drown her. Hmm. 
Yep. Yep, there's the other ring. I see! Entry number six. What have I done? I cannot end the monster, and now it has ended her. My best refuge, gone. My only light, doused. My love, I shall join you and beg for your forgiveness. Man, you're kind of a little creepy, man. Does she even know who you were? It's kind of sad. What are you doing, Gonair? Another corpse for the pile. My god! <laughs> Alright. Yep, thanks. Alright, a great end to the episode there. You want to put anything else into it, Dan? Huh? Okay. Uh, Alright! Gonair's finishing the letter for him. Our other creepy little man. But, yeah, guys. That does seem to be the end of the mod. It was... Definitely very, very short. The mod description did say that. It said it only took like 15 minutes. I've been recording for like 28. <coughs> Damn, please stop coughing. All right, Teldrin's gonna help with the letter. Yes, yes, a group effort. But yeah, that was a pretty neat little side quest. Definitely nothing like too extravagant. What is wrong with you? How are you, how are you even doing that? This is why I never bring you anywhere. But yeah, I feel like that's another one that would probably kind of fit in if you wanted to do just like a whole like spooky modded playthrough. I feel like that would fit the bill quite nicely, or just as another quest to do, why not, you know? Kinda wish that you would, like, get a little bit more as a reward rather than just two rings, but I guess you can sell those and get a little bit of money. Maybe I missed something, but I don't think I did. But yeah, if you enjoyed this tiny little mod video, don't forget to leave it a like. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help out with the channel, it would mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.